police and surf life saving guys for coming out with an IRB for safety. So the uh, purpose of their training today is obviously to uh, get all micro flight paramedics and crew that are present current in vessel transfer and water rescue techniques. So our objective at the end of the day is to have everyone complete a high line on and off the vessel, um, to perform a single strop and two hypothermic recoveries out of the water um, as a rescuer. And there'll be additional cycles in there as going back in the water as survivor as well, picking up a little bit extra. Sure, about a K. Um, so we decided we'll use the police vessel in the first instance. So the high line will get delivered to the vessel. Um, so one of the micro guys down onto uh, the boat. If anyone has got any queries or questions at that point, uh, we'll address it then before we commence. Uh, also for CHC currency, if uh, the first evolution will put one micro flight paramedic on the deck, disconnect, um, aircraft will back off. Today, so obviously relatively flat, a little bit of a breeze, so there's no... The IRB will sit off back at um, four or five o'clock, right hand side, out of the downwash and out clear of the aircraft. So the uh, skippers of the vessels first, F and Pete, have been briefed not to move to your forward and left. Um, so they'll always be out to the right and probably slightly rearward. And just making sure that any of the punters that we attract stay well away. Communications, so we'll operate uh, channel 70. <coughs> now the helicopter um, can't normally hover on one engine. So if we happen to lose an engine or have a, some other major malfunction, the chances are we'll go into the water. We'll, we'll aim to move forward and left the boat, if we're over the boat, or forward and left full stop. And I'll call... Uh, yeah, Okay, Pete, who's receiving the high line, the first high line? Who's there? I will be. You will be? Okay, great. Ja um, everyone, did everyone bring their own harness today? Or are we swapping it? We've got two harnesses. All right, I've got an extra three there. Just Pete, though, there's one spot over. So that one is tripping. Not formally, did you need to stand on and put the diver in the water. Yeah. Don't know they're in because people are coming up. Yeah. And they may come up a long way from that machine. So if you get out of the machine, it's often down, it's dark. Um, and they haven't got goggles to it. Yeah. So they might they haven't got any. Not. So great for skinny little bloke, um, no life jacket on that's fairly happy in the water. Um, the issue starts arising, your unconscious patients, your deceased bodies that are floating around, um, big blokes, um, people with particularly inflated life jackets on, where you just simply loop it around and you're off. The advantage of that is you've actually got so that. You, when we just put them in the strop strop, not a high pay, no chest. Do you want the chest? Yeah, no, do your chest. Yeah, yeah, do your right chest strap. Yeah. So that would be to get that on and then obviously pull your hypo strop through. The other option over. So to the patient, even if you so if you get in front of the patient and you've got the, you've got the thing around like this, yeah. you can still doesn't matter which side you're on, because some people prefer to work on the side. That's the drama with the yeah, cable to the right. So some people prefer to work on the side. That's been the whole point. Really? Of no, you're not I'm saving you like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm here to rescue you. Shut up! And if, if worst case scenario, if you're in breaking surf, you're good to go. Like, yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you don't want to put the chest on for a while. Well, I don't need to either. I mean, if you can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't have to be down at the bottom. But
So that's a good trick. It's a good yeah. technique. different stage of the evolution. We're going to have uh, a lot of things going on in the cabin. We're going to have the high line uh, on the end of the evolution. Okay, so we're going to have to recover that and tuck around the other side. Essentially, it's going to be fairly unrestrained. It'll be snapped off to the floor, but you're going to have air for us. We need them, especially if we're going to open when we had it hitched. The likelihood of us sustaining some sort of injury, whether busted hand, busted shoulder, busted arm, um, fairly likely. And uh, we need to be able to access these quickly and, and uh, easily. Any questions, concerns, comments? Everyone happy with the brief? Any further points? Pete? I think there was the one other thing was the I don't think we've mentioned is the metal work to metal work on the tape well. Just when we're when we're putting on the putting the strop onto the actual hook. Yep. To keep the uh, if you got the cable on the right, yep. the, the metal work's been on the right. Which needs to be attached. Right, that can go back home. Yeah. 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 Uh we'll spot yeah. them Oh, I've worked in this rig, it's not like that. Well, then you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Oh, this is No, I can't work with the rig.
the end of the day, we want to you know, minimise the amount of time the aircraft sitting in the hover and you're in the water. So if you think it's, uh, it's not going the way you want it to.